Somebody asked me for a particular fragrance and I told them no, I don't have the original, I have the flanker. And they were like, no, 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 don't sell fake perfume to me, I don't want fake perfumes. I'm like, really? Hi guys, welcome to my third episode of Perfume Diaries Season 2. If this is your first time of watching Perfume Diaries, Perfume Diaries is a series where we talk about perfumes, documents, everything you need to know about perfumes. We've done two episodes already for Season 2 and we've done 12 episodes for Season 1. If you haven't seen any, I'm going to be dropping the link below for the Season 1 so you can binge watch it. There are a lot of things that we talked about that you don't want to miss and season two we've done two episodes already just click on this channel and binge watch the two episodes i'm sure you're not going to be disappointed on today's episode i'm going to be talking about fragrance terms the very common fragrance terms which everybody needs to know because i believe everybody uses perfumes and you cannot love fragrances and not know the basic things about it even if you don't want to go deep into it at least just know the basics because I'm doing this video because a lot of people have been falling in my hands like i'll just mention something and they will take it out of context just because they don't understand what i mean so i decided to do this video so that i mean you could familiarize yourself with these fragrance stems because you cannot be you cannot say you're a perfume lover or a crazy perfume person without knowing these things it's not just about spraying these perfumes you have to know these things as well without wasting much time let's jump right into this video the first fragrance stem I'm going to be talking about is peelers and flankers. So basically, eh, when a fragrance is made, the original creation is called a peeler fragrance. And with time, when that fragrance is a hit, they make flankers of it. So flankers are basically fragrances that are created out of these peeler fragrances. For example, um, an original fragrance like Si Amani. So the original Si Amani is if is a pillar fragrance while flankers of C Armani you see C Passioni you see C Intense you see C Fiori you see the white C so then this is all our flankers of C Armani let me just quickly show you what I'm talking about I have the original C Armani and the flanker so this is the original C Armani this is the first fragrance that was created and they called called it C. This was the first creation of C Amani. And then when they saw that C Amani was a hit, they started creating flankers of it. So I also have this fragrance. So this is a flanker of C Amani. So this is like another creation of the original. Do you understand? They could decide to make it more floral. Then they decide to make this maybe a darker version or a more fruity version or a, a spicy version. They could just decide to make different flankers of the original. This is what we call pillar fragrance and this is what we call flanker. Do you understand? And somebody asked me for a particular fragrance and I told them no, I don't have the original. I have the flanker. And they were like, no, 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 no. Don't sell fake perfume to me. I don't want fake perfumes. I'm like, really? Are you serious right now? In 2021, I don't want to be hearing all these things. Please, you guys, watch this. Tag somebody to learn because it's very important for you to know these things. Knowledge is very important. So you don't make yourself look like you, you don't know what you're doing. Another fragrance term that I'm going to be talking about, which this one gives me headache because I mean, I, I, I get to struggle to explain these things to people. I need to do a video so that if anybody asks me, what is this, what is this, what is this, I can just pull these videos so you can um, be able to watch and understand better. So the second um, fragrance term I'll be talking about is Eau de Toilette, Eau de Parfum, um, Parfum, extra the perfume then eau de cologne the difference between all these are just the concentrations basically fragrances are basically oils and alcohol that's just the simple definition of the fragrance basically this is how it is ranked eau de cologne eau de toilette eau de perfume perfume and extra the perfume extra the perfume is the highest of them all so the difference between all these is just basically the concentrations like the concentrations of oils and alcohol in them that's just what they mean. This somehow helps the longevity of the perfume. It just depends on the quality of the ingredients that are used to make these fragrances. Like, for example, Sauvage Eau de Toilette lasts long as well as the Eau de Parfum and the Parfum. Most people even say that the Eau de Toilette of Sauvage 
is far better than the perfume. So it just depends on the, in the on the particular brand, on the fragrance and the ingredients that are used in this brand. That's just what makes these fragrances or these um, concentrations different. They make them differently. And there's some Oudou Solets that last long as well as the Oudou Parfum and Parfum. But this way I, I rank them are like what their longevity should be like. So I try the Parfum is the highest, has the highest concentration out of all of them. Do you understand that? The third fragrance term I'm going to be talking about is notes. Notes are ingredients that are used in a fragrance. So for example, um, we have, we have um, a floral fragrance. And the notes in the floral fragrance could be jasmine, rose, vanilla, all these floral notes. So these are called notes. All these things I mentioned, most of them are gotten from flowers. Most of them are gotten from animals. It just depends. And then for, for an wood fragrance, you could see something like patchouli, sandalwood, um, um, vetiver. These are all notes. These are all, all what we call notes, the ingredients that are used in a fragrance. So whenever you hear notes again, for on in a fragrance, this is what it actually means. In a fragrance, we have top notes, middle notes, and base notes. Top notes are the, perfu the, the notes that you perceive. Once you spray perfume, the first note you perceive is the top notes. And then when you let it settle a little, you, you perceive the middle notes. If it's a, it's a very complicated fragrance, you see it changing from one note to the other and then if you are very conscious of these notes you get to understand okay this is it this is what i'm actually perceiving and then the, the base note is actually the one that stays for the longest so that's just basically how fragrances work and how the notes work so the the first fragrance term i'm going to be talking about is um uh, siage and longevity so siage is basically the projection of a fragrance the sense trail so just imagine um, somebody um, walks into a place and you can perceive the fragrance. If the person just entered and you can perceive the person from where you are sitting, that's called the person's perfume sillage. That the, that's the trail, the fragrance that fills the air is called the, the sillage of a fragrance. There are some perfumes that are like loud, that have loud sillage, they are intimate scents that you can only, you have to come close to perceive. Most people don't like loud perfume. They like they just like something that when you're, you're with them, you can perceive it and you know stuff like that. And then project um, longevity is basically the length of a fragrance. So how long a fragrance can last is what we call longevity. If the fragrance lasts three hours, if the fragrance lasts all day, if the fragrance lasts one week, it's called longevity. But another one that is very very common and i'm sure it, not not everybody really understands what this term is is um designer so we have designer fragrances and then we have niche fragrances so i'm sure you would know what designer fragrances are designer fragrances are basically fragrances that are made from brands that are not predominantly fragrances they also make fashion items so they started off making fashion items like um fashion clothing belts wristwatches shoes bags you know that kind of stuff and then they now decided to make fragrances you see brands like chanel dior gucci are made for the masses they are, they are usually produced in large quantities do you understand so they don't they don't make it in smaller portions or they don't make it for like a specific kind of book they just make it and um uh, according to what people like generally do you understand you know there are some people that like to be unique and there's people that what is trending is what they go for so basically these are these are what these brands do they they are they, they are not just into fragrances number one and then they, they they make fragrances for the masses they produce in large quantities they are more affordable because they don't really use complicated ingredients to make them and they they are um they are more like safe fragrances so there's no how anybody would not press would not like it well niche fragrances are brand focus on only making fragrances they're not into other fashion items they just this is what they do fragrances and the difference is that these ones produce in, in smaller quantities they have like a target market and they they their ingredients are more sophisticated they, they they take their time to make these fragrances and blend the notes you know these are like more of the professional brands of fragrances basically and they're not for they're not for the masses 
you know, for the masses, they are for a particular group of people that like to smell unique and they use um, more expensive ingredients. That's why you see that niche fragrances are more expensive because this is what they are created for, basically. This is actually made for people that are more into fragrances. Do you understand? Like, you, you are a frag head who would appreciate a niche fragrance more because it doesn't smell common. It is more complicated, basically. So that's what niche niche fragrance is. Another fragrance stem I'm going to be talking about, which is this this is now becoming very popular in uh, in Nigeria. Um, tester perfumes and unbox perfumes. So basically, tester perfumes are actually made from the company as testers in fragrance stores. Do you understand? You know when you go to a fragrance store and you know you like a particular perfume and it's boxed, they cannot open it for you to perceive. So they have testers for it. They were made from the brands as testers. Most of them come in in, in, a, in a white ugly uh, pack carton or you can see on the box of it's written the tester. Do you understand? So they are made basically and then fragrance stores now decided to start selling um, these fragrances to customers because I mean you cannot just really know a fragrance by spraying it one time in the fragrance store. Sometimes you need to probably use it for a while before you can now decide okay i'm getting a bigger bottle of this and you know that kind of stuff so that's why um fragrance stores decided to start selling testers and they sell it at a more affordable price and then unbox perfumes are basically perfumes that had damaged boxes you know while while they were the the company was making these fragrances they packaged them and you know there's no how you tell me that 100 percent of what you do is to come out 100 of course you would you would definitely get all these things and this, this is how unboxed perfumes come either the, the boxes are damaged through shipping or the sprayer is bad and then they have to change the sprayer with another sprayer and of course you cannot sell it as boxed again if there was a factory default in it and probably they could not sell it as a box perfume anymore they now sell them off as unboxed perfumes and basically you would sell it at a cheaper price that's what comes about unboxed perfumes they they probably had one or two defaults packaging bottles sprayer cap most of them don't come with cap because probably cabs missed or cabs broken you know that kind of thing basically factory defaults on a perfume that is what beds unbox perfume so it's not everybody that sells unbox perfumes that sells original because now everybody is taking advantage of the fact that unbox perfumes and the announcer is selling fake perfumes actually it's not supposed to be like that on most perfumes are supposed to be original perfume the original perfumes but not in their pack basically so you just have to be careful who you're buying your unboxed perfumes from then they're not gonna sell fake perfumes to you if you're in doubt shop from the classy fragrance you have been selling unboxed perfumes for three years now and we've not had any complaints you can check my page for reviews you can check my page for feedbacks from customers we've been doing this business for a while so if you if you want a trusted perfume store that sells unboxed perfumes or tester perfumes shop the classy fragrance the last fragrance term i'm going to be talking about is dupes so basically dupes are like fragrances that are made to smell like some particular like a particular fragrance like let me say a high-end fragrance for example let me use creed a high-end fragrance like creed and then creed is very expensive but a lot of people want to know what creed smells like they are actually original dupes for some high-end fragrances and there are some um, fragrance brands that also do dupes for high-end fragrances so okay let me for for example an original an original designer fragrance like um, let me let me use Explorer Mont Blanc. Explorer smells like Creed. They made it to smell like Creed, but it's it's sold for a lesser price. Basically, that's what it's made for for a lesser price, so people can perceive what Creed smells like. And then, if you can, you can now. Of course, the dupes don't don't perform as as long as much as the original fragrances, but to kind of give you an idea what these fragrances smell like. Um, these are original dupes. They're original dupes like Zara is a brand that does a lot of high-end dupe fragrances. Zara, and then if you if you're talking about um 
fragrance brands that are, that are not a designer like your designer fragrances like fragrance world fragrance world does dupes for high-end um fragrances um pandora too does dupes for high-end fragrances these are fragrance brands that actually do good dupes for high-end fragrances and most of them last as well so for example um baccarat rouge 540 the original fragrance should be like from 140k upwards but fragrance world decided to make dupes for them that are sold for ten thousand. so you can have an idea of what because of course you would not just carry 130,000 and go and buy baccarat if you're not that kind of person that maybe you have to save for years for that kind of perfume if you you cannot just blind buy like that you would probably get this um dupes or you could get testers as well you could get samples and try them out before actually purchasing these fragrances um i hope this video was very informative i hope you learned one or two things from these um uh, fragrance terms that i've mentioned if you are confused about anyone just comment in this in the comment section if you have more to explain to us i'm open like i love to know things especially when it comes to fragrances i love to know more and more so please share in the comments if you have more to share and if i have more too as well i'll keep sharing and sharing but these are like the basic ones i have a lot of others but these are like the basic ones i also talked about notes which i'm going to bring up the part two in season two because i, I did it in season one and I'm sure you would love, you would enjoy it. I broke down all the notes that people have been mentioning, <laughs> and I just like, <laughs> what's going on? Like, before I forget, I have a giveaway in this video. You know, in all my videos, I give, I, I have giveaways at the end of the videos. So I have a giveaway at the end of the video. I have a dupe for Baccarat Rouge um, X-Ray, the perfume. But all you have to do is screenshot this video post it on your insta stories tag me tell people to subscribe to my youtube channel and then comment down on the picture i'm going to post on instagram and i'm going to pick randomly the person that wins the giveaway thank you guys for tuning in to bella's perfume diaries don't forget to subscribe like share comment tag your friends to watch this episode see you on my next episode bye